Hello yoga family, hello yoga community. Welcome to my channel, the best place to practice yoga for your body, mind, and soul. Today's class is devoted to the Anahata Chakra and remembering that we can use our breath to stay open, loving and accepting on our difficult yet very fulfilling life journeys. Now the heart chakra, the element is air. The activity is connecting. This is your social identity. It has everything to do with relationships and your right to love and be loved. And it's also the very center of the energetic system with three chakras beneath it that are more physical and primitive, Muladhara, Svadhisthana, and Manipura, and then three upper chakras that are more spiritual and transcendental, Vishuddha, Ajna, and Sahasrara. So because of its central location, it's incredibly important and vital that we really learn how to leverage our breath to stay in an optimal state here, to stay to keep the pathways open. And because the element is air, within the yoga teachings, we can look to and use pranayama as this incredible tool to help us stay in that optimized state, open, loving, and accepting, regardless of the situations that we face. Easier said than done, right? So for this class, I am gonna recommend that you have a strap it's gonna help us open up the chest center. You can also use a belt or a scarf, anything like that will do. If you're new here, please subscribe to support my channel and we're gonna start standing at the top of our mats. Let's get there. Bring your strap with you, please. And you'll simply hold it shoulder width distance, a little bit wider than shoulder width and simply rock forward and back on the feet. Take a moment to get grounded with me. Feel a sense of strength, structure, and stability supporting you here on the mat and always, right, off the mat too. Begin to consciously shape your breath. Inhale and exhale through the nostrils. Give your mind something to focus on. As you continuously breathe, notice your awareness drawing inward. Notice the senses softening. Notice the mind chatter, dimming, dissolving. And just take a moment to tune into your heart space. Maybe hold the strap in one hand and place a, the other hand over the heart. And I'd love for us to work with the affirmation, my breath supports me. My breath supports me. And so take a moment to say that to yourself aloud or silently. Really bathing your psyche in the teaching that the breath is here to support us. And as such, I'd really love for us to uplift the importance of the breath on the mat today. Keep it as present as possible. Remove that hand, bring the hands back to a little bit wider than shoulder width distance. Inhale the arms overhead. Let the hands go even wider as the arms drape behind the back. Feel that stretching sensation across the chest. Tailbone descends towards the heels. Inhale the arms back overhead. And the hands soften back towards the thighs. Feel free to bring the hands closer once again. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, let the arms fall behind you. Inhale, lift them back up. Exhale, lower down. We've got four more here together. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last three. Inhale, back up. Exhale. 
and two. My breath supports me. Last one. And at the top here, take a moment, stretch to the side, back through center, opposite side, back through center. Let the arms fall back behind you again. Oof. Inhale, back up towards the ceiling. And exhale, release the strap down to the floor. Great work. If you're not at the top of the mat, meet me there. Let's take a few shoulder shrugs. Inhale the shoulders up towards the ears. Once you're there, hold the breath, tense the face, tense the body, and then ha, release like that. Two more times with me. Inhale, shrug the shoulders all the way up to the ears. Hold the inhale breath. Tighten the face, create a lot of tension. And ha, one more. Awesome, interlace the hands behind the back. Send that fist package down towards the ground. Let the tailbone follow. Lift up through the sternum, feel the collarbone spread. Check in with the feet, make sure that all four corners are pressing down equally. Big inhale. Exhale, keep the hands as they are. Send the hip creases back, forward fold. Let the head and neck completely relax as you lift that fist package higher towards the ceiling. Knees can be generously bent. Breath is present. Breath is active. Release the hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll the body up. Stack the vertebra, use the strength of the lower body to lift and unfurl the upper body. Hands come behind the back once again, interlace, inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Release the hands, lift up halfway, lengthen from tailbone to crown. Exhale, step back to plank pose, please. Strong plank, one whole breath here. Soften the knees, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Awareness at the center of the chest for this movement, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come back through to neutral table. Bring the fingertips to face towards the knees now. You might need to shorten your stance and widen the arms to accommodate. And now cat cow once again, please inhale, let the belly soften. Collarbone spreads. Exhale, push into the palms and the knees, round the back. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Back through to neutral, turn the fingertips to face forward. Bring the left hand to the back of the head. Inhale to open the elbow wide and high. Exhale, bring left elbow towards right. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Exhale to thread the left hand all the way through. Left shoulder, left ear, coming down to the mat here. Send that right hip back in space. Decide where the right hand is going. Last breath here. My breath supports me. 
Slide right hand in, press into the palm, unfurl, reach that left hand high, plant the left hand down, right hand to the back of the head, inhale, elbow high, exhale, elbow to elbow, inhale, elbow high, exhale, close. Last one. Exhale, close. Now inhale, last time. Thread it through, right shoulder, right ear, coming down to the mat. Where does the left hand want to be as you send the left hip back? And breathe here. Anchor your breath at the core of your chest, both the front and the back, where the Anahata Chakra lives. Left hand returns in front of the face, press into the palm, unravel, reach the right arm high, plant that right hand down please, and send the hips back for child's pose. Reach those fingertips forward, lengthen through the sides of the waist, and really let the chest melt. Maybe even walk the palms of the hands to the back, feeling a bit of a tricep stretch. Let the chest melt just a bit more. Release the hands. Come up onto your knees, preparing for puppy pose, please. Knees are hip width distance. And really do your best to keep your hips stacked over your knees then gaze forward take a giant step with one hand a giant step with the other keeping the hips over the knees and then let the chest melt either chin or forehead can rest on the mat here if this is too much for your shoulders gaze up here you can fold one arm in and rest your head atop your forearm I'll let you know when to switch sides. If you're in the expression with both hands forward, stay there, keep the breath alive. If you're here with me with one arm folded in, extend that arm outward, Fold the opposite hand in, let the forehead rest atop the forearm. And each breath you take today, allow yourself to de-armor. So often the heart, we've got a wall built up because we're living, right? We're experiencing pain, loss, the reality of unmet expectations, harsh words that feel like daggers, right? Experiences that were so difficult, so tender, for some tragic and traumatic, and the heart hardens. And so you don't have to think about anything specific today. Simply allow the breath to de-armor as much as possible. Let's take one last breath here. Use the strength of your arms, firm them to lift back up and meet me in forearm plank. Knees can be down here. Reach back through both legs, energize the legs. Firm the entire abdomen. When you do that, feel the tail tailbone reach towards the heels and really push into the forearms to lift back up. Spread through the collarbone reach through the sternum five more breaths we're in it together using our breath to support us here last two 
Last one. Soften knees, untuck toes, soften thighs, pelvis, belly. If your hands were like mine, bring them into a gate-like shape. Elbows and wrists in alignment here. Elbows in front of the shoulders, arriving into Sphinx pose. Let the tailbone soften, press down through the forearms to lift the chest and ever so slightly pull the sternum through. Feeling this sense of openness here and what if we could be this open off our mats? Imagining how much joy that could bring us. Bringing a smile to your face. Last inhale. Mm, Exhale, lower down. Slide the hands back. Press back into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. First downward dog. Enjoy arriving into the pose. You can bicycle the feet as always. Take them as wide as the mat. Hmm. And take three final breaths here. Try to find stillness now for these last three breaths. And inhale the right leg high, spiral the inner thigh towards the sky, knee to nose. Step the right foot through, arrive into warrior one, please. Firm the foundation as you rise up. Press back through the pinky edge side of the left foot. Feel the inner ankle lift. Press down through the front foot and then reach the hands up and bring them into goal post here. Inhale. Exhale to straighten the front thigh, hands come down by your sides. We'll do that five more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back into warrior one, reach the fingertips high. Exhale, plant the hands, option for a flow here. I'm stepping back to downward dog, choose what you need, we'll all meet here. Inhale, left leg high. Knee to nose, step the foot through, rise up warrior one, hands into goal post please. You might want to heel toe the back foot in some, inhale, exhale straight in front leg, hands come down by your sides, five more. My breath supports me. Last one, reach the fingertips high. Exhale, plant the hands you choose. Flow your own way. Meet me in downward dog. (sighs) 
Let's all soften knees now. Find that strap once again, please. If you don't have a strap, you'll bring your hands up into goal posts as we come up on the inhale breath. If you have the strap, arms are about shoulder width distance, a little bit wider. On an inhale, come up onto your knees, reach the arms high, let the chest spread open. Exhale, lower down. Again. And lower down. My breath supports me. Last three. And two. And one. Ooh. I almost pitched forward there. And sitting down now, coming to a seat. Invitation to sit atop a block. Blanket, bolster, whatever feels great for your body. Uh, once you get into a comfortable seat, inhale the arms wide, please. Exhale, wrap left arm underneath right. For eagle arms, you can take a half bind or a full bind here. Elbows reaching towards the shoulders, hands reaching away from the face. Breathe into the upper back. Breathe into the Anahata Chakra. It's not just in the front. It's 360 degrees, that entire upper chest region. Unravel the arms, reach them wide. Right arm underneath left this time. Breathing between the shoulder blades. Unravel both arms wide. Release the hands down by your sides. Bring the fingertips to rest atop the shoulders now. This is the heart chakra pranayama from Anadeya Judith's um, chakra pranayama sequence. I love it. It's here on my channel many times. Fingertips atop the shoulders, elbows spread out wide. We will inhale to the right, exhale to the left. We'll do that 12 times. Pause in the center, inhale left, then exhale right. And you'll make an audible ha huh sound on each exhale breath. Take a centering breath here. Let's begin. Pause in the center, whole breath. Inhale left. Release the hands, pause in the center. Beginning to chant yum, yum, the bija mantra, the seed sound for the Anahata Chakra. You can chant it aloud or silently. You can keep hands resting atop the thighs or you can place them at the center of the chest. Yum, 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 yum. We'll be here for one minute together. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, 
Yum. 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 Last three repetitions. Yum. 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 Release the mantra. Release the hands to the tops of the thighs and sit quietly for a final minute here. Integrating your practice. Feeling a sense of lightness and ease in the chest region. Knowing that your breath is here to support you on this journey called life. And bring a smile to your face. Sweep the arms out to the sides. Gather up this joyous energy, palms touch, this right to love and be loved, this place where we have the right to connect with ourselves and others, this place within us that's connected to the air element, our breath, remembering that our breath can support us on this journey. Inhale for Om. Oh. In your own time, slowly open your eyes. I feel so much lighter. This morning I cleaned my house quite frantically, frenetically with my parents joining me for the weekend. And I've also just been feeling really stiff and tired from staying up too late, watching my favorite shows on Netflix. And so this practice was such a great way to reconnect to my sadhana and also my body and my breath and my essence. And I hope you feel that same way. And most importantly, as you step off your mat and go about your day, re reconnect with the breath. It can be as simple as an inhale for two and an exhale for four whenever you feel stressed, whenever you feel yourself closing off and like you're unable to do whatever task is at hand. Now, if you like the heart chakra and want to work with it more, there are so many classes on my channel to support you. There's an entire playlist in the description below. There's also a seven step yoga set, re the seven step yoga reset guide. It follows the chakra system and it has meditations, asana practices, journaling questions, teachings, and affirmations to support your journey through the chakra system and really recentering your body, mind, and soul. You can get that in the description below. I'll meet you back here and we'll keep practicing yoga holistically together.